if you want to smell good all day and receive so many compliments from so many different people, keep on watching. I know back to school season is starting and everyone wants to get back into their routine and I'm telling you if you follow my tips 110% you're gonna get so many compliments from different people asking you what are you wearing, what do you do, how do you smell so good all day long. Hey guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a hygiene routine slash tips video. I'm going to run down my skincare routine through my bedroom routine, what I do after I get in the shower and before I get in the shower to smell good all day long. I'm going to be going through my oral care, my body care, my shower routine so you guys can get a glimpse of what I do to smell good all day long. I'm a firm believer of smelling good. I get so many compliments when I'm at work about how, what I wear every single time and I'm here to share that with you guys today and if you guys appreciate this video give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel I'm going to be coming out with a lot more content in the future but let's get started I'm so excited to talk about my routine I definitely talk about my routine a lot on TikTok and a lot of people definitely seem to be I guess interested in a way but here we are on YouTube I'm gonna give you guys the rundown show you guys all the products that I use and tell you how I use them and let's get started and if you guys appreciate this video please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe down below to my channel so first thing is oral care Oral care is a big part of your hygiene routine because you do not want to go up to anyone, especially in the mornings and your breath is kicking. You need a good foundation with your mouth. I only use one mouthwash and I've been using it for about maybe three or four years now. It is the TheraBreath mouthwash. I use the light blue one in specific because I've used, I think, the light green one. Some of them don't have the minty taste, but this one has the perfect minty taste for me, and it keeps your breath smelling good for hours. I promise you, this stuff is golden. I know they have a toothpaste. I haven't tried it. I think they sell it at Walmart, not Target, but I do want to get my hands on it just to try it out and see what it gives. And then for toothpaste, I use the Crest 3D White. And then I also use the Crest 3D White Whitening Strips, which I have in my bathroom and I forgot to bring with me, of course. But I use this on my toothbrush and then brush my teeth. And then I put a little bit on my toothbrush and I kind of brush through my tongue. If you do not brush your tongue, you need to start now because all the food and bacteria hide on your tongue if you brush your tongue i promise you your breath is going to smell good on top of me brushing my tongue i use these little tongue scrapers i have a big metal one but i've had these plastic ones that i've been trying to get rid of or like if i'm traveling i'll bring these with me along with my flosses that i also use but these things are so good. You just scrape your tongue. It takes off all that dirt, all the disgustingness. And you definitely feel that your breath is a lot fresher as opposed to if you didn't use a tongue scraper. But for oral care, that's pretty much it. I just make sure I go through my teeth really well, brush my tongue, like I said, use that mouthwash. And typically, I'm good to go for the day. The next step is my shower routine. I love my shower routine. The shower is the foundation of smelling good. If you do not have a good shower routine, when you get out the shower and do everything else, it just won't stick because you need to get all the dirt and all the gug, all the sweat off of your body before you can layer all of your products so you can smell delicious all day. In the shower, I use these two items to wash my body. I've been using the African Net Scrub sponge I think it's not really a sponge it's pretty long um I just kind of roll it up into a ball and kind of put my soaps on it lather it up and go over and clean my body it does exfoliate um but I just use it as a regular um sort of like a loofah the same way you'd use a loofah and I also use this this is a silicone scrub I don't use this as much but I feel like I do use it on the days that I don't use this to exfoliate 
if that makes sense but typically honestly I would use this on a daily basis I just if I need more of an exfoliating I just kind of go in a little harder I guess but typically I use this lather it up in my body wash and good to go but for body washes I have quite a few body washes and I am a firm believer and I'm gonna say firm believer a lot but I am a firm believer of double cleansing I use either the Dr. Bronner's Unscented Bar Soap or the Dove Sensitive Skin, which is a also which is also an unsensitive bar soap. I use those two. I use them on my intimate areas. I lather it up on this African net and I usually go through my body with that because I double cleanse and I feel like everyone should double cleanse. You should not go in with your smelling good body washes do a wash and then call it a day no 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 please don't do that so i go in with the bar soap and i lather it up on the loofah and i scrub a dub dub after that i will go in with my dr bronner's unscented body wash i love this stuff so much I know they have peppermint and stuff and I want to try the other scents but currently I just use the unscented one. I also lather it up on this and just scrub it up, scrub away. It makes my body super squeaky clean. It gets off all the dirt, I promise you. It's like you're starting off on a fresh new clean slate. I love that body wash so much. I want to try the peppermint one because I've heard a lot of good things about it. It makes you feel even more fresh and clean. But for now, I'm going to finish this bottle because this thing cost me about $16 or $17. <sighs> body care is so expensive, let me just say. I lather up with that, scrub it up, dub, rinse off, and then I go in with my other body washes. I usually use these two body washes. They're by Natrium. Um, this one is the salicylic acid one and this one is the glow getter typically what I would do is I would mix this one in with the Dr. Bronner's and if you have sensitive skin obviously this definitely works different my skin isn't sensitive so I typically mix those two together and then I'll mix this in with whatever body wash I use that it smells good so for my body washes that smell good this is after you've cleaned your body off, you've got all the dirt off, and you're going in with that clean, fruity, fresh scent, whichever one you choose. I have three body washes that I currently use. I either use the Saltair. This is what the Saltair. I think this one is the Seascape. Um, and then I use the brown one, which I think is called Santal Bloom. That one smells really good, but I either go with that one or I use the native body wash this one is powder and cotton because i love a clean fresh laundry scent and this one smells so clean and if not then i'll go in with my method body wash which i love method i've had i literally have every single one of the method and the native body washes of the scents that i like obviously and i typically use those as my smell goods after i clean my body off so like I said before, I lather it on my African net and then I use this and then I use one of the small goods and I lather it up and scrub it up, dub, do about two washes of each, depending, you know, um, do a nice scrub, scrub, scrub your legs, please scrub your legs because I know a lot of people say they let the water drip down. No, you need to use this and scrub your legs, get all the dirt off of your legs. Please exfoliate your legs. You don't want anything. Just exfoliate your legs, please. And then after I go in with my body washes, I typically go in with an exfoliator. I have three exfoliations that I would use depending on what I feel like I need more in that shower routine. So I have the Dove um, Body Polish, which this one is not super abrasive. So I use this more for I guess moisture because it's not super like rough and it doesn't really like irritate my skin I guess not really irritation but it's just not as rough and then I use the tree hut if I need more of a deeper clean or if I'm shaving I definitely go in with the tree hut and I rub that against my skin and this gets the job done this one is desert haze it smells 
so good. They came out with a cinnamon dulce, pumpkin spice latte, and there's another one. I can't remember. Coffee. I didn't like the coffee one. But they came out with a whole bunch of fall scents, so go get them. They smell so good. This is the last exfoliator that I have. It is the First Aid Beauty. It's the KP Strawberry Legs Exfoliation scrub i like this a lot i only use this i either use this when i shave sometimes or whenever in the summer i i definitely use this a lot in the summer but whichever one is needed in that shower routine that's what i would go in with after i do my body wash scrub 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 wash it off good to go if i am shaving in that shower routine i use the flamingo razors this is just a regular razor i think they have like the packs that come in with the changeable heads this head you just pop it off and you can replace it without having to buy the whole razor and then for shaving cream i use the cremo shaving cream this one is the jasmine tube rose one um this one isn't foamy it activates with water so it's kind of like a cream and once water gets on it it kind of lathers up use that shave rinse off and then my shower routine is pretty much complete from there. Now, outside the shower, I wash my face. For face washes, I use La Roche-Posay. I love La Roche-Posay. I love their products. The face washes are the best. I literally just got this because my other one ran out. But this stuff is so amazing. I promise you. They have face washes for every type of skin and I promise you I'm not sponsored obviously but I literally love their face products I have this one in the summer my skin tends to get really oily so I use this one it is the purifying foaming cleanser it gets all the gunk off my face I love this stuff in the winter when my skin gets typically drier I go in with this one this is the lip car I think it's the AP yeah lip car AP plus this one is really moisturizing. It doesn't strip my skin. I love this one. In the winter, it does everything it needs to do. When I wear makeup, they have, and they just released this actually, a cleansing oil. And this is their cleansing oil. It's also the Lip Car AP+. And this gets all my makeup off, all my mascara off. You can imagine. I love this stuff, but it just really depends on what I need but I literally go in lather it up wet my face scrub 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 I usually let my face washes sit for like a good two minutes on my face and then I rinse it off and I pat dry with a napkin pat dry with a napkin I don't use a towel anymore because it does hold bacteria so pat dry with a napkin the very first step to my body routine is taking a cotton round and this glycolic acid serum, pouring it on the cotton rounds and going underneath my arms, just making sure that those areas are really deeply cleaned and any bits of sweat, whatever, just clean it off really good and then put my deodorant on. I use either the Dove, I use a Dove antiperspirant spray. That's the one that I use. This one, a non special. It's the coconut one. I use whatever scent I like. I like the cucumber scent. I like this coconut one. I use whichever one that I like. Just go in there. Make sure you use your deodorant. It's hot out. We don't want to smell it. Please use your deodorant. I thank you. Please do. Please. Clean behind your ears. Clean your ears. I use rose water, the toner. Um, I use this stuff. I put it on a cotton pad. I put it on a Q-tip. I go in my ears, especially because I have a lot of piercings. I go in, clean around my ear sing my piercings. Whoa. And then I use this, this, go behind my ears, go behind my ears, make sure all that is clean. Clean. Please clean. You never know when someone's just gonna please clean behind your ears it's time to do my skincare routine i either go in with the good molecules niacinamide toner or i use the glow recipe watermelon toner either one of these are fine for me personally i love this stuff and i love this stuff i use either whatever's there that's what i use on my face 
so good after my toners i go in with my snail mucins this is the essence the little snail thing going all over tiktok i use this it definitely helps hydrate my skin a lot in my personal opinion i know a lot of people said oh my god it's good for dark i don't think it's good for hyperpigmentation or dark marks it literally just helps with the hydration on my skin because my skin can get really dry and that definitely has helped me a lot after that i go in with my glycolic acid serum i just started using this and the bottle is literally almost empty this stuff is so good it definitely has helped with dehydration on my face also i love this stuff i literally need to go buy another bottle at sephora I love it 10 out of 10 if you have dry skin definitely go get it the number one product that has been helping with my hyperpigmentation is this topicals faded serum I know y'all seen this all over TikTok. the girlies talking about it I promise you this stuff is amazing if I have a dark spot on my face and I use this for about three four days straight it fades out I promise you this stuff is well worth the price 100% and if you do want to get the Topicals Faded Serum, you could use my discount code down in the description to get a percentage off of this and all of their products. But it's not sponsored, but I really do love this stuff. This is probably my fourth bottle or two because that's how much I love it. Like, chef's kiss. And then for moisturizer, I just use honestly i've been using this glow recipe um plum hyaluronic acid cream moisturizer i like this a lot it doesn't make my skin oily throughout the day i don't know it's just really nice really moisturizing it's super lightweight it's like that watery consistent consistency i guess you could say i really like it a lot and then for sunscreen i use the la roche posay moisturizer sunscreen this has spf in it love this stuff if i don't use this one i use black girl sunscreen um also another good moisturizer is the welda super skin food moisturizer it's in a green it's in a dark green bottle that is also really good especially if you have dry skin i use that a lot in the winter time now that our skincare routine is done our shower routine is done it's time for our body routine smelling good all day long with this body routine i promise you and if you don't get any compliments of you smelling good you can come back to this video and comment and let me know because i promise you people are going to tell you that you smell good 110 percent let's get into the products after deodorant you must moisturize i go in with my lubriderm lotion and i mix it with the cocoa radiant body oil from vaseline this gives you a nice glow and this makes sure your skin is moisturized i have really dry skin these two together you need it i promise you i promise you i promise you you need a good foundation and this will be your good foundation i promise you and after that i go in with my smelly good lotions i go in with once again, not sponsored, but Eels, if you want to sponsor me, please do. I use my Eels lotions. These things smell so good. I don't care what anyone says. I don't... I, I feel like when I use them by themselves, I need to add something just for a little bit of moisture. That's why I go in with the body oil and the Lubriderm, but... These smell so good and they layer really well. I have the Fresh and Cozy Coconut Waters and Pomegranate Raspberry. Um, I think I use this one more because a lot of my perfumes go with this. But this Coconut one, this Fresh and Cozy, oh my gosh, all of these smell so good. If you don't own an EOS lotion, please go buy one right now. After I do that step, I put this on top, I layer, and I'm good to go. After I lotion my body up and get it super moisturized, it's time for fragrances. I love fragrances. I layer fragrances. I get so many compliments. Smells so good. I've been really into buying perfumes lately. Sephora had a 20% off sale the other day and I literally bought like five perfumes. I just love smelling good. People tell me I smell good all the time and it literally is the best compliment and it warms my heart. 
to start off with the layering I typically usually always start off with Sol de Janeiro I love this stuff like a hundred percent I've probably had about 10 bottles of this shit this one and the smaller one I've had so many bottles of it this one I just got I love it this one I didn't like at first it was a trial size and I've been using it and layering it properly and it smells so good I'm gonna buy a big bottle of it but typically in my layering steps this is the first step oh my gosh this goes with everything I know people like the pink one a lot I feel like the pink one it dies off really quickly I feel like you spray it and then it smells like alcohol and it goes away 40 she's that girl I mix her with almost every perfume I have I promise you it just goes so well because it's very fruity but it still has that freshy scent oh my god so good but for perfumes that I layer I'm gonna give you guys a couple of layering combos with 62 I use the Kali the pistachio these two go well together because they both have that pistachio scent and it's super warm this is I want to say a little bit stronger so it complements this very well and obviously it lasts all day long 10 out of 10 recommend but these are some of my favorite combos that have given me the most compliments ever 40 you're gonna take your girl 40 and you're gonna get Burberry her elixir and you're gonna spray these two together and you're gonna smell good so good I promise you you're gonna take 40 again and you're gonna get mod blush by Ariana Grande spray these two together you're gonna smell heavenly heavenly you're gonna get 40 again you're gonna spray Valentino born in Roma this is probably my number one complimented scent ever these two smell really good together I just want to eat myself up after I spray them because it smells so good I promise you and flower bomb this is one of my second most complimented combos so good I promise you you're gonna smell really good with 40 the pomegranate raspberry goes very well with it 100% I use these two together when I'm layering when I use real radiance I use coconut waters this smells like coconuts beach to me these two perfectly together 100% I have a couple other perfumes that I use I just got this Gucci flora magnolia this one this purple one smells so good I smelled the other ones I like this purple one the most and then I also use cloud intense by Ariana Grande I didn't like the cloud original at first and then I smelt it like two weeks ago and it smelt so good but this one is stronger in my opinion, so I like this one a lot. And then I have two clean scents. They're very clean. This one is Lazy Sunday Morning by Replica. This one smells like clean laundry. It smells really good. And then I have the Way North Bondi. This smells so good. I feel like this is either a scent that you love or you hate. But I love how this smells. So clean. I love to smell clean. I love to smell fresh, fruity. I get so many compliments. Like I said, I promise you guys, you're going to smell good whether you're going out, to school, to work, wherever you're going, you're going to get compliments that you smell good. The scents are going to last on your body. They're going to last on your clothes. I usually spray it all over me. For my hair, I'll probably go in with two spritz of Sol de Janeiro, just kind of lightly ch -ch on my hair. It stays. My hair smells good amazing i literally just flex throughout my hair or i straighten it and i'm good to go <sighs> but sadly this video has came to an end that is all my tips my routine of my hygiene products the way i use it and like i said i promise you to get so many compliments thank you for sticking around for this video i'll be posting a lot more really soonly if you guys enjoyed, please give my channel a subscribe and stick around and see what content I have coming in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!